beautiful day for hauling your old shit spreader through the woods of Maine. Get turned into scrap metal. All kinds of junk for free. somewhat official up here we're not so official we got clevis hitch with the pin too short so we just run it one hole that's all we're doing just one hole but look Place for a little bit. Someone might want it, but you know how that goes. Got some uh, miscellaneous scrap in here. You might as well get rid of it at the same time. The old logging chain. interested to see how much it weighs it feels like I'm towing a car you know a car on the on the car trailer but it's uh, tough to say I'm not sure what it'll give me a mixed iron or uh, number one unprepared uh, I don't know maybe just a tin price but either way got to get rid of it Gas went down. 466 from five dollars in the past couple of weeks, so not too bad. Filled up. On with the journey. Tires are in rough shape, but they're holding air because they got tubes in them. No tread left. My plan is tire blows, take it off, keep on rolling. Should be a fun ride. Two hours, just about two hours through the back roads to the scrapyard. See what happens.
so past the dually fenders, which is uh, pretty wide for the road. It's tough to keep it between the lines, but. So far so good, halfway there. Halfway there. No issues other than very bouncy, very rattly, but Getting into uh, some local local streets now. People are uh, looking at it. Very funny. What the hell is that thing? Coffee roll. Look at that. Look how small. Used to be bigger than your hand. Probably better off for me. Gotta celebrate halfway mark or something. No Rosie today, Saturday morning. Nice and early, early start and get this over with. She's uh, too hot in this truck for her. Not too bad yet today, but I'm mean, getting the 80s. So. One order of hash browns, that's it. So I got a message a little while back and the guy said, uh, I know I usually take, you know, junk cars and stuff, but I got something you might be interested in and uh, I'd like to give it to you if you can take it away to get it off my hands so he says it's a old John Deere manure spreader turned into a trailer so of course I want to know more So he sends me a couple of pictures and in the pictures I see this thing, the way that it was sitting in his driveway or the way he took the pictures, I'll tell you what, it looked a lot smaller, especially the wheels. Um, Seventy nine. 78 Nova two door nice one but anyway what I seen was uh, potential for a heavy duty scrap hauler one of a kind type thing I saw eight lug wheels but he said I said what kind of hitch does it you know hook up to and can it be towed down the street and he said oh yeah the tires are are junk but I mean they hold air and you know they got tubes in them and uh, very heavy duty well he said it's an old clevis style hitch he said but if you take it 
and get this out of my yard, I'll, uh, I'll get you the hitch that you need. Give it to you. So I went over, expecting it to be at some, you know, farm far away. It was only about five minutes up the road. Right in town. So the kid had, uh, he bought it from a farm about 30 minutes from there. And uh, he bought it. He didn't get it for free. I don't know how much he paid, but he had plans to make it into a, <clears throat> a trailer for hauling logs, you know, for going in the woods and getting logs and hauling them out for firewood or whatever, but I think he said the same thing as me when he got to it and noticed how big this thing was in the wheels and tires and he bit off a little more than he could chew. Hooked it to his um, half-ton Chevy pickup. And uh, i tell you what, it's got some weight to it. So I think he didn't really say, but he got it home. Very small driveway. It was sitting there in the driveway and think someone got a little mad and they didn't like it maybe a landlord maybe a wife I'm not really sure but for some reason he had to get rid of it quick very thankful very helpful um, he hooked it right up on the truck and he went down the only place to get that kind of stuff a hitch like that and stuff's like tractor supply right in town and, um, To, by the time you buy that that hitch, the pin, and even the new pin to hook it into the winch, it's about 60 bucks worth of stuff right there. All brand new. So, I said, hey, what the hell? When I got there and seen it, I tell you, it looked way different than the pictures. It's one of those things, it just, it looked like a regular, you know, eight lug Chevy wheel off of this or something would, would bolt onto it in the picture. But when I got to it, the wheels, they stand probably over three feet tall. They're 20 inch wheels. I don't know how big the tires are, but, so, I don't know, uh, nowhere to park it in my yard, no room in my driveway, got seven vehicles, so, I went over to, uh, took it over to my friend's place, showed him, and what do you think of this? And he said, ma'am, you can make a pretty cool hauling trailer out of this, but to get those tires, probably going to be very costly. And uh, this whole bearing setup on it is very strange. Uh, very heavy duty. And uh, they cut off all the the components, you know, where when it was a shit spreader. And... Uh, they kind of did a poor job, just kind of a farm, you know, get her done kind of job. Cut this with the torch and weld that and do that. And um, it needed, it, it definitely needs some strengthening up if you're going to do anything with it. But so he said, Oh, you can park it up back here for now until you decide. So I kind of started doing. Oh, excuse me some uh, research on tires and wheels and you know on the whole thing and it's gonna cost way too much even to get some used tires for the thing 
So, I don't know, I kind of got discouraged, and uh, then I ended up finding that other trailer and uh, driving to driving out to buy that and uh, that was more of what I was looking for as far as a heavy duty uh, you know to put some heavier things on and a solid deck and a beaver tail and you know um, so then I bought that and I said okay well before I go on a long journey and try to you know haul this thing down all the way to the scrapyard I guess I'll uh, you know try it out and uh, throw it on marketplace you never know there is a there is a bunch of farms around me and you know um, guys that do logs and stuff like that in the woods they might want it just for that for a property or you know you never know I mean it's uh, definitely would be good for something but I don't think it would be good for uh, you know everyday hauling on the roads uh, it's a little bit crazy for that like I said it's very wide uh, and a uh, couple guys on there on the uh, Facebook pages I talked to you know seen it and I sent pictures and put pictures up and they uh, they said you know the idea would be great I mean the thing would hold any weight you threw at it but you know you got to remember those things really weren't meant for uh, constant highway use and um, you know even road road speeds like right you know it, it's it's meant to be on a farm and, and go you know through the fields and um, not really meant for that so well I think I got well I got two responses to the ad that I put it up and uh, one guy asked if it could be put back to a manure spreader and uh, yeah you know what my answer to that was uh, so that was nothing and then uh, another kid wanted just like me he saw the pictures and you know just like me saw something else and saw potential for a scrap hauler junk hauler whatever and uh, I you know he I just told him I said to be honest you know I was very honest about it I said I these tires and stuff are gonna be very costly unless you have some already or you can get a deal but um, I wouldn't recommend it so he he said he'd have to pass plus he had an, an old shitty F-150 that was broken down anyway and that's what he was going to tow it with and I said no nah, you, you need a you need a one ton at least a three quarter ton to tow this trailer I mean it's got weight even with nothing in it so um, I finally got some time and I said you know what it's time time to make it disappear got three trailers now and uh, time to uh, I guess turn it into some money hopefully I don't I have no idea what it's gonna weigh but it should be fun to see um, I'm sure the guy doesn't get anything like this hasn't you know doesn't get stuff like this every day but uh, been hauling cars like crazy nothing really good uh, that Volkswagen you know it was gonna bring about a hundred dollars in scrap maybe the thing didn't weigh anything so I power washed it I put all the fenders back on with a couple of bolts and I said you know what the thing's mostly complete I threw it up on there and uh, sold. Didn't take very long to sell that. I made eight times what I would have got in scrap. So there you go. And uh, all I had to do, the guy said, 
I'll buy it cash right here. He said, deliver it to me. It was about 45 minute ride. Um, couldn't even tell it was on the trailer. Took a nice ride over there. Uh, dropped it off to him. He was happy, gave me the cash. I was happy and uh, on to the next. So Saturday morning, had a little bit of time, cleaned up some metal in the yard, got that in the dump bed and uh, haul this shit spreader in and get rid of it. Be nice to get it unhooked from the truck. It's gonna feel real nice. Still hungry, little coffee roll. This doesn't seem right to get two. But... Oh well, what are you gonna do? There will be celebrations, hopefully.
some days you win some you lose some you break even it's one of those days but no celebration deserved here but you know what it's goddamn hot in this truck I tell you what guy out there blowing snot rockets at the parking lot that's nice huh I couldn't imagine doing that right in public in a parking lot just <laughs> shooting snot right at the ground I don't know maybe it's just me we still got chili yeah he's hot I want you to take a look at something. I get a small chili. Four packs of saltines. If you wanted some saltines, you wouldn't get any. Or maybe one pack, but... Who the hell wants to put saltines on their chili? I don't know. Remember when they used to have those little packets of uh, to make it spicier? It was like a little juice and like a little packet, and you put it in the chili, mix it around, makes it spicy. Well, I don't need that today, but uh, I tell you what, didn't make very much money today. <clears throat> so. The old manure spreader. Books are deceiving. It felt felt heavy. It did I gotta say? It did feel heavy, but it was in fact not heavy. Uh, pulled in the scale. We'd, uh, we weighed in at 10,600 pounds. We uh, dropped off the shit spreader trailer because I had a feeling that uh, he might give me classify it as something else other than light iron, but I was hoping he would. Dogs are barking. Uh, so, yeah, we just dropped that, and I mean, uh, I figured somebody might say something, you know, look at that, look at that, look at this thing, what is that? No, no one cares, no one even cared, normal day, angry, loader drivers, just drop it out of the way, yeah, get the hell out of here, get out of my way, but hey, no one likes to have any fun. But we uh, pulled back on the scale and weighed 77.20, which uh, made it weigh, the trailer weigh 28.80. So, weighed almost a ton and a half, but he deducted 50 pounds per wheel because they had those big tires so minus 200 pounds left it at 2680 and he gave me unprepared number one not too bad if uh, the prices actually meant something these days but it's uh, down to $80 a ton for unprepared number one so got a hundred and seven dollars and twenty cents it's upsetting I had I pulled back on the scale with the dump bed we had some light iron in there snow blower power washers stuff like that just crap so we went from 7720 to 6800 920 pounds for 
$23, I think light iron's like 50 bucks a ton right now. 23 bucks. But then we did have three aircraft batteries from the airport. Just little batteries. Threw them on the floor here. Figured get rid of them. And uh, we got $14 for those. So there you go. You figure it out. Not a very good day. Uh, we'll end up burning about $100 in fuel in this thing, the old big block there and back. A few bucks at Wendy's and uh, the broken dreams of the manure spreader turned trailer are over. There's no more dreams. They're all broken. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Wherever you go, there's a dog barking. I love dogs. I go home, my dogs are barking. I leave, I go somewhere, dogs are barking. Yeah. A lot more things you can complain about. Sitting under the tree. In the shade. Got some chili. You know, days like today may not make a big profit or a profit at all. But look back on times that you made out good on stuff. Times you really did good and kinda, you know, makes up for it. It's the way I look at it. Like that, uh, Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Pure profit. Some good cash, but the uh, price of fuel and the price of metal is killing. Killing good days of profit. Look back on times like that Ford Ranger for free. Woo! Still living off that. But, can't always get good deals. The thing is, is somebody contacts my business page. They want an old manure spreader removed. Broken Dreams removal did it. They got it done. Got it out of the yard and got rid of it. Everyone's dreams of building something out of it are all crushed, all broken. And then in the end, I'm the one who has to finish it off. Everyone sits there, forgets about it. Their problem solved and I sit by myself and eat chili sometimes make a little money but what are you gonna do it's a beautiful day and uh, we move on to the next thanks for riding along Nice to have someone. Bark, bark.
Till next time.